Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about kind of a discovery that I made. Well, I'm not going to even call it a discovery. I'm going to call it an observation that I made with the adrenal that I think is quite significant. So I'm reading this book called SIBA, Encyclopedia of Endocrinology by Dr. Frank Netter. He's an MD. And it's a really great book because it gives you all the physiology of the different uh, glands in the body, the different hormones in the body. And on page 84, it's talking about the actions of the adrenal hormones. And if it's out of balance or it's dysfunctional, all the different effects that could be created from this one little adrenal issue. And I'm just going to kind of read through these conditions on this one page, all from the effect of high levels of cortisol. Okay, that's, for, that's the main adrenal hormones. Number one, you're going to have insomnia. You're going to not sleep. Number two, you're going to excessively think 24-7. You're going to have possibly allergies. You're going to have acne. You're going to have belly fat. You're going to have blood sugar problems, even diabetes. You can have low vitamin D levels, acid reflux, ulcers, osteoporosis, osteopenia, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, arthritis, Alzheimer's, the list goes on and on and on. Now, what I find is that almost everyone out there has a lot of these problems and they're all being treated separately with medications. It's my personal opinion that these conditions are really the effects of long-term stress in the body. So they're really stress effects, but they're treated as diseases and that's why they never can get better. When you go to the doctor and you ask them what the cause of these things are, a lot of times you get, well, it's probably genetic. They don't really know. They don't really tell you. But sh go get this book and show them. SIBA. It's volume four. Encyclopedia of Endocrinology. Frank Netter. I'll list it down below so you can get it. But this is quite interesting that almost all these conditions really stem from a high level of cortisol, which is really a stress effect. And if you end up treating these separately, what, what's going to happen is you're going to continue the problems longer. You're going to stay on medication. You're going to keep taking it. And then you're also going to camouflage the real issue. So again, what I'm going to recommend is instead of treating these separately, try and experiment with yourself and try to start to do things to improve the function of the adrenal rather than treat the, the symptom improve the health of the adrenal. You can do it with eating. You can do it with walking and exercise. You can do it with acupressure. You can do it with massage. But the point is that, yes, these could be nutritional deficiencies, but they can also be the effects of stress on the body that is left as an impression on the body. Uh, that's different than a nutritional deficiency. Nutrition will help it, especially like B vitamins. But the other point is that you want to extract stress from the body and do things to pull stress out. I would say the big problem with people with stress nowadays is being in environments with stressful people. It's at work. It's at home. Do something to change that. That would be a huge, huge thing. And the reason I mention that is because I see people that travel on a vacation away from work, whatever, and all of a sudden they start, their, their condition starts healing. They start losing weight despite their diet. So it's just another thing to look at that goes beyond just treating symptoms with medication. All right? Hope this helped. I'll see you in the next video.